Hi my cyber angels, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading and I'm doing the weekly readings from Capricorn, Aquarius and then Pisces and then I start a new video otherwise it's too long to load up and that will be um, Aries, Taurus, Gemini and the same with Cancer, Leo, Virgo and Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. I have computer issues and I have to bring away the computer so I'm sorry to have to do it this way but please look at the timestamps below the video okay then you can click on the timestamps and it will take you directly to the section of your zodiac sign please like and subscribe and please leave your comments below the video um, whether you like this setup and uh, I might just do it once again in the future but I know I haven't got any title descriptions to say what your reading is about I might try to put that in I don't know whether I can edit it that way I hope so but please bear with me I'm sorry for the inconvenience and take care have a safe week please subscribe and like and please hit the bell on all and also refresh your bell on all your favorite channels as the alpha rhythm might have thrown you out of that channels um, uh, as a member okay that is what I've just found out as well there's new things happening uh, on YouTube constantly and now Facebook is taking away the tags replacing it with face recognition go and have a look on Facebook as well because things are changing there that is what brought the issues to my attention and with my computer I'm sorry for the inconvenience take care love you and I won't be going live this week if I do get my computer back on Saturday uh, or before Saturday I will go live with you as soon as possible take care God bless and stay safe temperance on Monday and temperance means that you might be meeting a Sagittarius and uh, also try to keep the balance you might want to keep the balance between home and work or home and school if you're still going to college because I do have people that are 18 and upwards and remember the videos are only made for 18 and upwards you have the house you have the house from the Linamon that means that you might be isolating yourself or if you're older you might be isolating yourself or you might be buying a house this week the house also means security stability um, safety and that is why you might be isolating yourself and not ming mingling with the public so get out of the house and start mingling but I know in this situation with COVID you have to be careful so protect yourself with a mask or any other attributes for only also means stability like I said stability safety and pro progressiveness productiveness so that is the energy around you you also have the king of hearts and the king of hearts is cancer but don't exclude um, Scorpio or Pisces either you might be meeting them or there might be somebody in your life that is a uh, cancer or another water sign um, that is nurturing caring loving uh, that could be a father of significance because of the house so that could be your father or your partner so you might be either meeting a Sagittarius or you might have to you're doing a, a Sagittarius is significant for you or a water sign the king of water is cancer as I said prominently but don't exclude um, the other two signs then you have the nine of Pentacles and here in this card deck it is uh, shown as a partnership uh, a father or a mother um, or a husband and wife you are going into a better phase there is a phase ending for you and there's a new beginning like I said you might be partnering up with a water sign or a Sag 
but it could also be that a, a couple of uh, people are significant to you, which could be your father or your mother. You're going into a better face. You're starting a new face and you're gaining uh, perhaps ma material wealth. This could be money, but this could also be buying a house. Wow. I'm sorry I'm going very fast, but I've got to do another 11 signs. I'm sorry, but I do, I'll try to do it as good as I can and to the standard that you're used to. You have the mountain. The mountain see, says or means that you might be seeing issues or problems. Don't make problems when there aren't any. And remember, your parents or your advisors or these two significant people could be here to help you and advise you so that you will have abundance, whether it's love, money, or but it is something that's durable, like a house and number four. And that is for long term. Perhaps you're seeing issues for the long term. Don't worry, there are no problems. You don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk the mountain on the path like the deer. Now you've got number three, so you can be creative. That means a three, 21 is a three, so that's creativeness. Use your creativeness. And you've got the eight of ones. You will be getting news that could be coming through cyber. And also everything everything will happen all at once. Not just one, it won't rain, it will pour. Because these ones fly through the air. And that means that uh, you might get a letter, you might get a call, you might get a text message or an email bringing you important news like your mortgage has gone through or the offer on the house has been accepted. Whether you're buying or selling. Then on Friday you have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands means arguments or disagreements. Um, it is short-lived because it isn't the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is the card of war and endings. Nobody is a winner, so walk away from it. The same here, walk away from discussions or arguments. Listen to what people have to say and it will be short-lived. Walk away from it after they've said their, their say and go away, think about it and then go back and talk. Keep the communication going, but do it after the strife, okay? Trouble and um, strife means, uh, for those that don't know the English, uh, the Cockney, uh, uh, like, um, strife is arguments, but they're short-lived. And the answer to a question is definitely yes, as you have the anchor. You're coming home to a safe haven and uh, you're going to stay there. You've put your anchor down and that's where you're going to stay. This could be a new house, like I said. You've got number 35, which is an 8, and that means power, money. You're getting money, you have the power, you're in your power. Use it wisely. Don't start arguing, because don't abuse your power, in other words. Okay, now, there's also the Nine of Swords. You might have sleepless nights. The Nine of Spades is the Nine of Swords. You might have uh, sleepless nights. You might be too much up in your mind. So please, come out of your mind and give it over to the angels and the Divine and they will take your troubles away. And they will handle it in their own time and in their own way. You do have arguments at the end of the week because you've also got the whip and broom. So please be careful and give it over to the angels. And ask if you have issues with something or someone then and you want to avoid arguments, then go and go and seek advice from somebody that's mature. Then at the weekend you've got the Seven of Cups and it says illusion. Well, don't be don't have any illusions because that will give you sleepless nights. Okay. When you see this Seven of Cups, whenever I pull that card, then I say make a list for the pro and cons list. See which dream or goal can come out first. 
that will bring you abundance like in the earlier in the week you know what to do so make your pros and cons list come into action and make it happen and I'm getting to here you have nothing you have a no you can turn it into a yes that is what I'm hearing I don't know what it means to you uh, it could be just for one person specifically as I'm reading for thousand then we have number 11 like I said the divine is with you and the angels as well give it to the divine and don't argue walk away from drama especially somebody else's drama so you've got a new beginning because the 11 is a doorway to a new beginning you have the jack of clubs and the jack of clubs is the page of clubs the page of wands so there is news coming on saturday or sunday as well or you might be meeting a fire sign an aries a leo or a sagittarius but prominent prominently uh, Sagittarius is the um, card for the page and the angel says forgiveness forgive others and forgive yourself and start afresh learn from issues and learn from difficulties <coughs> as that will stand you in good stead in the future okay If you can't forgive and let go let go as well because then otherwise it will just fester and um, you will only end up in sleepless nights so forgive come out of your isolation perhaps that's why you are tired or apprehensive to go outside uh, because you don't want to argue and you're avoiding a confrontations don't make a problem where there aren't any problems you know after a, a few words or an argument if you don't handle it correctly you can end a friendship as you've got a nine where's the nine a nine here and um, a nine there but there will be new beginnings as where there is an ending there's a new beginning don't have any illusions about the fact the facts it is the way it is if somebody is always manipulating you and you don't like it forgive and walk away don't go into their issues it's their problem not yours now if it is your partner then yes get an arbitrator or a mediator to help you like a mum or a dad or somebody mature and older okay so that was your reading Capricorn for this week and now I'm going on to Aquarius now I'm quickly shaking the cards um, and then I'm going on to Aquarius I'm sorry Aquarius please forgive me but um, I, my computer is having issues so I only hope that I can do all the signs this way okay so now we've got this one taking that one and you can really see I shake them and this is not what I usually do because I think shaking it always irritates me when I watch people shaking the cards because it takes forever okay that's why I'm doing it very quickly now here for you because uh, I've got to do an other, all the other signs and you know it takes a load to edit so I might not even edit them so there we go and they will come out of rough and ready right well you definitely got nice cards you start off with Aquarius with the six of swords and the six of swords is um, you are moving from rough waters to quieter waters you're going with the flow you're going with the wind there you go beautiful you might be moving home you might be going on holiday but you're going to a quieter period a more steadier period awesome you might be going um, you might be moving in with a man 
you might have decided to move in with a man, as is also the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Hearts. You might have fallen in love, or you might have been going out with a man, he's got nothing to hide, and you feel secure as he's got the bare, this is the bare-chested man, and it means that he's got nothing to hide, and he's, he's ready to protect you, and you feel safe in his arms. You've got number 28, so that's a 10. That means an ending and a new beginning. Yes, if you're moving in with, with this man, um, this could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. He is sensitive, nurturing, and caring, handsome, and sexy. Okay, so, and very nurturing and passionate. So, you are moving into quietness, like I said, a more steady situation. On Wednesday, you have the Queen of Cups, and this is autumn, so you might be actually planning, and I've, I'm getting to here, it might be autumn that you are moving into. So, after the 21st of September, you might be ready to move in with this man it might not be this um, this week coming week but they will certainly be talking about it and planning it and the Queen of Cups this could be that um, you could meet the Queen of Cups or you might have water in your chart or he might have water in his chart because it's and because it's the ace, uh, ace of Cups and that's a new passion or you might be meeting the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups is a Scorpio so you might be meeting a Scorpio and moving into a new situation um, that you will be moving in in the autumn <coughs> sorry Ooh, it's when a reading really gets going it's really beautiful when it all fits together or you might have met this man um, due to a Queen of Cups. You might have had a blind date in the past, and you you've you you're hooked up now together. But you might have met him through a Scorpio. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. You've got number thirty-six, so that's a nine. There is an ending. So there could be an he could have ended a relationship with a Scorpio. Um, as he has and he's meeting you this week so slow down and take it steady let the relationship grow you can't just meet one day and move in the next that's not how it works no wonder you're worried or you might be up in your head about it because you want to take care of the whole situation so that it is stable okay this could be you that you have separated from somebody and you're moving on and you're meeting a new person that will is caring and nurturing or you want to take care of them <coughs> and because the cross means um, being worried um, having no faith in yourself um, being up in your head about something or being depressed because this could be that you have like I said, moved away because you're moving away with the boat from this man. But I think you are meeting somebody new. Okay? So don't be depressed. Get out of your head. Come into action. Make a decision and a choice um, so that you can move on, that you can nurture yourself if you're not meeting a Scorpio or uh, an, uh, an other water sign so that you can move on that you can take care of yourself love yourself nurture yourself and come out of your shell out of your head have faith trust yourself because and have and, and have faith in yourself because you are wonderful everybody is wonderful in their own way now you've got the six of wands and that means the six of clubs that means that you have you are the champion you will have public recognition look at the man looking at this card 
and that is in connection with this so a new love that is going to be successful the six of ones means champion means victory you're moving onwards and upwards you're being recognized somebody has an eye on you this could also be a promotion in work awesome it is such a positive card although the number is 36 in the Lenaman and it means an ending because it's a nine there's a new beginning and it is confirmed by the fall and the fall that's at the end of the week that's on Friday take that leap of faith but you must have faith okay take a leap of faith now you might not know where you're going because that's because you haven't got enough uh, information because that ha the, the, the fool hasn't got any information he has to trust on his instinct so listen to your intuition and take that jump and on the way if this is you and you want to get to your goal and uh, peace will return then ask the people on the way can you help me or can you tell me how, how to do this or how to get there you've got number 43 which is a 7 which means good luck at the weekend look what you have you've got the 9 of cups so your wish is going to come true again a 9 where there is an ending there is a new beginning your cup will flow over either with love or uh, a new job or a promotion as you have the six of wands so and here we've got the queen of cups again so the queen of cups sorry it's the queen of spades um, that's the uh, uh, swords you have the queen of swords so you could be hooking up if you're a, a, a man or a woman with the queen of cups or the queen of spades remember the queen of spades is the queen of swords and a lot of readers call her the widow or the ice princess or the queen of ice because she can come across very sturdy and very cool but she's got her emotions uh, in check but she's also a mother and she's no widow take it from me there's a lot of Geminis and Libras and and uh, Aquarians that are not widows and they do have a heart they are mothers and they're just as nurturing as any other sign any other mother any other person but you've got good luck okay so you could be meeting um, a Libra mainly but don't forget Gemini or um, Aquarius and you are this could be you um, Aquarius as you could be in your power and at the weekend with all this beautiful abundance this could be a new love like I said or the promotion a new job Wow absolutely gorgeous so you are moving on perhaps you are moving on to a new job and um, that will bring you abundance again a nine so a nine is an ending and a new beginning and you've got a nine here and a nine here so you've got double numbers awesome so let's have a look recovery wow you saw me shape the cards and you know and have seen it that I don't sort them out you've got recovery so you're recovering from a rough time you're recovering um, because you've got luck awesome especially at the weekend you've got beautiful beautiful energy you might even have a visitor that's bringing you a gift but luck is on your side that was your reading Aquarius right so that is Capricorn and Aquarius and I said I was going to do the earth signs but I'm not apparently the angels have <laughs> have taken over like the readings sometimes do um, so now I'm going to Pisces now I'm going to Pisces I'll just do the first quarter and then I'll do the second quarter and that's the way it's going to be apparently well 
it's taken out of my hands. There we go. Pisces, let's have a look. So I'm doing the thre first three signs. It's taken out of my hands. Well, this is the way it goes uh, with readings when I'm sitting here on my own. Um, everything takes a life of its own. Okay. go it's just all off the cuff and I know it doesn't look professional but I'm trying to get all of them out um, because I don't know how long it's going to be that I will be without a computer okay this is for Pisces so Pisces I hope you will forgive me for all this sorry about it okay so your first card Pisces is the Five of the big arcana, and you have the um, elder here. I don't know whether you can see it. You can see the owl, but you can't see the key in the book. So anyway, I'm getting um, through. You are holding the key and the wisdom to something. Okay, now the elder is the hierophant, the high priest, or the shaman in some decks. This is a pagan deck and it means that you might be seeking advice from an older or a mature man. This can be your, your partner, this can be your father, this can be an uncle or a man that you respect. Okay, he also stands for a Taurus. So you might even, <coughs> excuse me, seek advice from a Taurus. This could be to do with uh, the letter of the law. This could be with anything, uh, uh, information from an institution or a municipality. This could be a school teacher, headmaster, it could be a doctor, it could be a spiritual guide, it could be a lawyer, anybody from the municipalities like I said, or an institution. Uh, it could be a social worker you might have an issue with, or you might be getting divorced and you seek advice as what to do now like I said before I saw this card you've got the key here you've got the key card from the Lenaman and the key card means that you hold the key you can turn the lock to negativity and open the door to positivity you've also got number 33 which is a six that will bring you back in balance apparently but it's also an angel number perhaps you have closed the door on love because this is also like the high priestess and he married or high priest he marries people he's the head of the 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 spiritual institution the church <coughs> perhaps you've closed the door to love and you might seek advice from a spiritual guide 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 like a priest or something like uh, somebody else like that that what shall I do perhaps you might be hooked up and you might be married and you want to get a divorce and you seek advice okay from a lawyer or um, a priest and you hold the key you have to decide and that's what a lot of people don't realize you have to decide yourself after you have gained information or insight or information or advice because you hold the key do you really want to leave do you want a divorce or do you want to get married if the case is that you want to get married and you're seeking advice how um, uh, what are the pros and cons of getting married uh, do I need to make a will do I have to make a prenuptial agreement uh, what will happen if after a couple of years uh, it doesn't work out when I'm married because you're very business-minded um, what will happen 
um, can, and, and that's why you want a prenuptial agreement. Who knows? But uh, you and you want to feel secure, and that's why you want to un lock the door to love and freedom because you want to most probably want to get partnered up or have a, a will or a prenuptial agreement you might even be married and you might want to put down your wishes in a sort of uh, agreement that when something happens to you or when you're getting divorced perhaps you might um, feel uncertain in your relationship and you're putting it down on paper this is the situation at the moment if anything happens to me or if I'm getting divorced then this is the let's say this is the money that I've brought into the you're putting things down on paper that is what I'm seeing <coughs> you're trying to build in safety so if something happens you're not left high and dry well done to think also um, uh, business like um, before you are actually getting married it's very difficult because your emotions are entangled as well but it's better to sort it out now than later and be left high and dry perhaps that's what the angels are coming in with the 33 and bringing you luck to open that door open your heart open your solar plex but you, it's good to be businesslike to think about things like that you've got the eight of pentacles so the that's the eight of diamonds so you are getting recognition for your hard work perhaps you have made a prenuptial agreement or a will and now you're getting divorced because we've got opening the gate or closing the gate you perhaps you are making that decision to uh, get divorced and your hard work or your prenuptial agreement that you made years ago or months ago is going to bear fruit okay it's going to stand you in good stead as the eight of pentacles also means recognition for your hard work boom there you go there are things that you don't know about as you have the moon so this could, the moon is also Pisces so you are in your element or you might have just met a new love and you've opened the door to new love your heart your solar plex your mind um, because you've got the moon and there are things you don't know about and you might be hoping to get married to this person and perhaps you are but you want certainty you want guarantees as much as you can have because you've got the strength sorry you've got the strength card now why do I say moon the moon stupid me because in this deck you have the bear the lion and the wolf <coughs> now the bear in Lenormand protects his house and the, the, the lion means strength so he protects what is dear to him so does the lion and so does the wolf but the um, the the lion and the bear has have their strength, um, and the wolf is also strength, but not so strong because he's not so big as the bear, and the lion, but he's very analytical. He's very um, precise. Okay, perhaps, um, and I'm getting lots of messages with this card. Even the moon, still the moon. There are things that you don't know about. And I will not take back because it comes out the way it comes out. Um, that's the way it works with me. Um, uh, perhaps you are in your strength because you made this prenuptial agreement and you've opened the door or you're going to close this door on this relationship. That is, if you are hooked up and if you're not hooked up, then you are opening your heart uh, and your solar plex and your mind to this new love and that could be I'm, I'm still maintaining something with Pisces you are in your strength um, and because the moon is very prominent in this deck so I think it could be a Pisces but the strength card does stand for Leo so we've got a Taurus Pisces and a Leo although um, the strength card doesn't mean Pisces I'm saying Pisces because this is what I'm getting through 
Pisces. It could be in other Pisces. But you are in your strength. Don't be overbearing. You don't have to be, uh, be because you have made sure that you um, had that prenuptial agreement when you opened your heart uh, before you got married. Now, if you're not married and you are get, what, planning to get married and you're getting the information, think about this prenuptial agreement because it's quite strong coming out in this reading. There could be somebody that is jealous because you've got the bear here as well. So you've got two bears here and they're looking at each other. So to me that means coupling up. Okay, One of you is the strongest. But there could be somebody else that is jealous. And again in this deck we have the uh, tower or the cathedral, the ice cathedral. So again municipalities. Uh, institutions so to me it means that you are coupling up definitely with somebody or decoupling because he's looking and he's looking away you see the pictures say more so that this might be you and you're looking away because you want to walk away because you feel strong enough and uh, perhaps your partner is jealous perhaps um, you know, you've got the Ten of Wands here, the Ten of Clover, and that means that you've been having a heavy, heavy time and you're fed up with it. You're closing the door on negativity, walking away from it, okay? You're walking away from it. You've decided that you're closing the door on love. Look at the rose. You sought advice and you're getting divorced. I'm sorry, but I have to read in all the scenarios for everybody as I'm reading for thousands of people, if not millions. You've got 15, which is a 6, so you are getting in balance. Here you've got 3 3s, also 6, so 6 and 6 is lying next to each other. So definitely you are in your strength. You're in your powerhouse and money house good on you okay the eight of diamonds is the eight of pentacles recognition you might have had a job uh, jo um, a promotion you might have started uh, a job or your business is a success and you've got recognition so now you feel strong enough to move on because you are in balance and luck is on your side you've even got perhaps an institute behind you that's helping you or and if you're not hooked up you could be getting help from an institution or you might be getting married um, because that is what the situation also says you've opened the door in your heart you've done your homework you've done the prenuptial agreement you you've seeked advice from your spiritual guidance guide and you're in your strength and you're ready to do this so you're getting married luck is on your side don't worry a 10 is an ending and a new beginning where there is an ending there's also a new beginning at the end of the week we have adventure the night of wands yes you will have an adventure if you meet the Knight of Wands or if your partner partnering up with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands can be an Aries, um, a Leo or a Sagittarius. And the Knight of Wands also um, means moving home. So when you uh, and news, when you get news from this uh, Knight of Wands, uh, act upon it swiftly because otherwise it will pass you by the in and it won't come back round look at the sign of Aries okay so make sure that if you meet this person and you want to partner up with this person and you've opened the door to this person then make sure that you don't burn yourself know their borders know their boundaries let them know what your boundaries are and tell them okay tell them so that you can communicate and balance this relationship this could be your luck because you've learned from the past and you're close opening the door to new love 
So we have a Taurus, we have a Leo, and I say you have a, we have a Pisces here. Now we have an S a fire sign. You're on your right path. Again, a six. Okay, now I'm getting a message here. Be careful of somebody that has um, manipulating or dominating um, ideologies. Uh, I, I, uh, ideals. Okay, because you've got 42. Again, a six. Now, be careful of somebody that is jealous. The bear is jealous as well. Now, it can't be clearer than this. Although the Lenormand says you're on the right path, make sure you have the right information. Okay? There is an advisor here. Somebody is not being honest. Strength could be also, somebody could be overbearing, fiery, short-tempered. You've got 666. Six, six. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's the devil's number. So this is a warning. Don't panic because you've got 6 12 18. 18 666 is 18, 1 and 8 is 9. So perhaps this is the ending ending here. Um an ending because you might be seeking advice from a lawyer getting divorced you have noticed that this person is unbearable to live with that he's manipulating he's got perhaps addictions who knows and you're walking away you're moving you're moving into a new home okay perhaps that is the news and like I said it can be anybody it can be a Taurus a Leo or a fire sign and I keep on saying a Pisces okay I'm sorry but you are in your strength but I'm getting to hear Pisces as well because I made a mistake I thought this was the moon okay this is a new deck but you're on your right path you're too and here you are you've you've got all the signs here so you there's no significant sign here so it can be anybody okay now you've got the seven of cups you've got dreams you've got goals make sure that you do not have any illusions about the future it's not going to be easy if you are separating take it from me it's a totally new path that you are beginning it could be the right path for you you're breaking away from negativity right but it's going to be difficult to be on your own you might have a lot of dreams and some of them will come true and some of them won't I'm being quite blunt about this it's not easy when you've been together and you're going to start your path anew there's a lot of wishes that haven't been fulfilled because you were together and now you're on your own and your wish can wishes can be fulfilled but most probably not all so make a pro and cons list and see which dream or wish can come true but you have to come into action to do it it's not going to fall out of the sky okay now you've got the 12 so that is a two sixes that's 12 but one and two is three <coughs> sorry I'm, my mind always is turning over like two times three is six and six and the number six is very significant now this is number three if you put three 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 then again you've got a th three cards uh, three threes okay now we've got the birds and this card is an extra card um, and these birds are owls so use your wisdom you might be getting news from the authorities okay you might get your judicial news that you are get your divorce is finalized boom there you are be careful of gossip and somebody um, flying away from the nest flown the coop and all left the group that could be at work that could be at home 
so some some of you god forbid might fly the coop or somebody has left the home this could be your partner obviously but uh, be careful of gossip because birds also sit in uh, in groups so it's like Chinese whispers you might be going to meetings gatherings presentations so that could be it as well you've got the seven of pentacles what you sow you shall reap <coughs> what you sow you shall reap so the seven of diamonds is the seven of pentacles but remember it takes time before it comes to fruition I hope you've enjoyed this reading Pisces Aquarius and Capricorn take care and I'm sorry I had to do it this way but it's better to have a reading than to have none at all and your answer of the angels Aquarius a Pisces I forgot is if you believe if you believe you can do it seek advice if you don't so that you can believe so that it will be clear to you what will happen and what's going to happen take one step at a time don't rush you can't run before you walk and that is how I'm going to close off this video for all three signs take care have a beautiful week and I hope to see you in the life sorry uh, that I haven't been life but I do have technical issues. Take care, God bless, and be blessed.